dear students now we are going to discuss about types of guideways there are mainly three types of guideways friction guideways anti friction guideways and other guideways there are four types of friction guideways v guideways flat guideways dowtel guideways and cylindrical guideways the other guideways are divided into hydrostatic guideways and aerostatic guideways now what is friction guideways the friction guideways are widely used in conventional machine tools due to their good damping property and low manufacturing cost the frictional guideways are having sliding friction and they do not have constant coefficient of friction the coefficient of friction in the frictional guideways changes with the sliding velocity this phenomena is also known as stick slip phenomena in this diagram we can see that the coefficient of friction is along the y axis and velocity of the slide is along the x axis as shown in the figure when initially the coefficient of friction is high and the coefficient of friction decreases as the velocity of slide increases okay the coefficient of friction is high when the moment begins and go on reduces as the speed of moment increases therefore to start the moment high force is required and to overcome the friction this phenomena is called as stick slip phenomena okay now the commonly used friction guideways are v guideways flat guideways dowtel guideways and cylindrical guideways these are the four types of friction guideways we know that in the friction guideways there is there exists a sliding friction between the two surfaces now let us discuss about the v guideways the v guideways are as shown in the figure these guideways are used on machine tools especially on the lathe bed in these guideways the closing action as the upper member settles on the lower member and this automatically maintains the alignment in the v guideways jibs are not used with v guideways to take up the clearance caused by wear we use jibs whenever there is a wear okay but as the v guideways are having self alignment property therefore we will not use here jibs the majority of the lathe machines have combination of v guideways as well as flat guideways so this is regarding the v guideways as you can see the uh, v guideways there is a uh, it, the design of the v guideways is such that it will uh, avoid the lifting and it will maintain self alignment now let us discuss about the flat and dowtel guideways the flat guideways have better load carrying capabilities than other guideways the dowtel guideways provide proper grip and stability to the moment moving part after a period of use wearing may occur due to sliding of surface over each other then we make use of jibs to ensure accurate fitting of the slide to both flat and dowtel guideways the flat and dowtel guideways are as shown in the figure we can see here jibs are used here jib strip is used here for maintaining proper alignment uh, because of wear and tear <clears throat> the next type of guideways is cylindrical guideways in the cylindrical guideways the board in the carriage housing provide support all around the guideways 
the cylindrical guideways are used for shorter travels and light loads these guideways are most efficient if the guideways are used for longer trans, uh, transfer length and if the guide bar is supported at only one end it may sag or bend due to the weight okay so cylindrical guideways are used for shorter travels length and for light loads this is about the cylindrical guideways now let us discuss about the anti friction linear motion guideways the anti friction linear motion guideways are different from the friction guideways here also exist a friction but in the anti friction linear motion guideways there is a rolling friction in the friction guideways there is a sliding friction but in the anti friction linear motion guideways there is a rolling friction the advantage of anti friction guideways is it it reduces the amount of wear and friction and less heat generation they use rolling element between the moving and stationary component therefore there exist rolling friction between the fixed and moving component in the linear motion guideways the sliding friction is replaced by rolling friction these guideways are used for linear motion where there is a continuous roller circulation which allows unlimited linear movement what are the advantages of linear motion guideways number 1 low frictional resistance as we know that in the linear motion guideways there exist rolling friction therefore rolling contact therefore the friction is less when compared to friction guideways low power consumption as the friction is less the power consumption will also be less no stick slip effect that is the third advantage as we already discussed in stick slip effect will not exist in the uh, anti friction linear motion guideways less heat generation as there is a less friction high stiffness higher transfer speed and it is commonly available so these are the advantages of anti friction linear motion guideways now construction of linear motion guideways see here this is how the anti friction linear motion guideways will look like they are using recirculating ball bushings okay the rollers are continuously recirculating in the retainer okay so this is how they are constructed now these are used for the movement along the flat surface or in a linear direction in this arrangement there is a continuous recirculation of rollers or balls for unlimited linear motion the rollers are in contact with the machined surface of the guideways these bearings are highly effective and provide a frictionless movement but they require very accurately machined guide guideways the guideways should be very accurately machined the guide surface should have high hardness and smooth texture the linear motion guideways can be mounted vertically and horizontally depending upon the type of machine okay so this is about the linear motion guideways okay now in the next video we will discuss about the other guideways the other guideways are of two types hydrostatic guideways and aerostatic guideways